your girl just now yana and i am back with another video if you are new here welcome and if you are not new here welcome back okay y'all so i'm at a weird angle because i'm still trying to work out my little car setup or whatnot but i decided to come on here with a little car chronicle while i'm headed to work um if it's a little shaky i do apologize i just do not have like the stabilization on this darn car mount or whatever maybe they help once i like snap it down maybe they help but anyways i decided to come and do a car chronicle because um kind of running out of ideas but i really wanted to come and have a topic to talk about because this particular topic has been on my mind for a minute and i want to talk about it so as y'all know or if you don't know i am 28 years old okay i'm 28 and I do have a daughter. My daughter would be three in like two weeks. Um, I feel like as a 28 year old or hell, even when I was like 24, 25 ish, I feel like we put so much pressure on being married or being engaged before we're 30 that that's all that we kind of like surrounded ourselves in. And I really feel like as a woman, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's so easy to do that because you you want all things marriage. You know what I'm saying? Like, or all things family. Like, you want the husband. You want the family uh, dynamic. You want the kids. You want the house. You want the dream job. You want, you know what I'm saying? Like, you want all of that as a woman. And then it's like, when you don't get that as a woman, you feel like, well, damn. Like, I fail, but in actuality, you really did not fail. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just feel like we spent so much time wanting the fairy tale, but we don't spend, we really don't spend that much time putting in the work to make sure that we are our best self. And I feel like in order, in order to get what you want, you have to be what you want. You know what I'm saying? Like. <clears throat> You want a man that carries himself as a they carry himself as a gentleman and as X, Y, and Z, but you have to also be able to carry yourself as a woman, a loving woman, a caring woman, a woman of substance. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like I was always told growing up, you are what you attract. And most of the time, like we we probably look at the way that we dress and say well i don't dress like this to attract the people that you know what i'm saying you feel where i'm going but most of the times like although we we don't dress for that reason a lot of the times we wonder why men or the man that we want won't approach us or whatever the case may be and it is it has a lot to do with how we carry ourselves you know so i think that I, I do feel like that's kind of like a <clears throat> that's kind of like a thing, you know. Even though I do not have on earrings, I can't stand it. But I think that that's kind of a thing. Like even though you know what I'm saying, like it might not be a situation where like you you know you you might not dress like this to like I said to attract the type of man that's approaching approaching you. But maybe if you kind of switched it up a little bit, you probably get the man that you want, y'all. I, I'm saying this because lately I have been feeling a tad bit convicted with the things that I wear. Um, like I have some clothes, I have some clothes in my closet, and the clothes that's in my closet are are not. I have clothes in my closet, and the clothes that's in my closet are not um modest, I should say. And I feel like every time, I feel like every time I try to put on like a shirt or the shorts or whatever, like I just feel so uncomfortable because I feel like I'm showing too much. Or if I put on a, like y'all, I don't know if I've ever like stood up on any of my videos or if y'all ever seen like me full frame or whatever the case may be, but I am not a skinny petite girl. I'm 4'11", but I am very hippie. Like, I am thick. So, when I put on certain shorts, 
I have to be mindful of whether or not my cuff is showing or whether or not my booty cheeks are out. Like, I just feel like, I don't know. Like, I'm not trying to get all holy, holy, sanctified or whatever the case may be because I'm not. But I am working on... I am working on, um, you know, just being more modest. I'm really working on it. Like, my homecoming outfit this year, it was a black jumpsuit. I'm probably going to insert a picture probably, like, right here. Homecoming outfit, it wasn't that bad. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I had my back out. Okay, cool. Yeah, I had this part out, but everything uh, right here was covered. But my line sister actually had to help me and tighten up the back part of it with a with a um a um one of these a little one of these a little ponytail holder, right? So my line sister had to help me with that because y'all, I felt so uncomfortable because it's like every time I turn left, turn right, or even if I was sitting down, I was looking down and I'm holding myself like this because. My titties about to fall out. Like, I don't want to. I don't want to be like that. Every time I walk, I don't want to have to pull my dress down. I don't want to have to pull shorts down. I don't want to have to do any of that. Like, I want to be comfortable and classy at all times, or whatever. But, but yeah, I just wanted to come on here and like talk to y'all about like what I have going on in my mind, and I feel like. My car chronicles are perfect for that because sometimes I be driving down here by my like talking to my damn self. Like I be in the car. Sometimes I be having a full blown conversation with myself, or maybe I don't, maybe I be talking to God. I don't know, but I just you know sometimes I just feel like like the conversations that I have in my mind I could really be using those for like my my channel because. I'm still trying to find my niche with my channel and I'm still trying to figure out what it is that I really want to do. You know what I'm saying with my channel? Like, I know I want to go back to beauty. Um, I know I want to go back to beauty content, which I and I am. It'll probably be maybe like the top of January. I got some, um, what is it called? Not necessarily like a home thing going on, but like I got some construction and stuff going on. So I'll be recording that and then I'll be recording like the nails because I do do nails and stuff like that. But I think maybe we can make this um, Car Chronicles a series. And I also wanted to do a series about single mothers. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wanted to have a single mom series to let single moms know that they are not alone. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, it's hard being a single mother. And people, some people don't realize how hard it is being a single mom. Like, you a single mom and you don't, have, you don't really have the support or the help that you feel like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you, you probably want or you know what I'm saying want or need and I feel like that's something okay and I feel like that's something that needs to be you know what I'm saying discussed because people don't realize that single mothers have it hard like you can't pick and choose when you want to be a mom you can't pick and choose when you want to take care of your kids you can't pick and choose you know what i'm saying if you're gonna go out today like you can't pick and choose that you know what i'm saying especially if you're doing it by yourself you really cannot pick and choose you cannot pick and choose that like it's literally a situation where you know what i'm saying like you're you're a mom 24 7 because you had that baby, you know what I'm saying? Like, you you had the baby. So, you're a mom 24-7. And you deserve a break. It shouldn't be a situation where you do not get a break. Like, you deserve a break. And I thank God for my village. Do not get me wrong. Like, I really do thank God for my village. Because without them, y'all, without my village, listen to me. Listen to me good, okay? Without my village... I will be somewhere laying in my grave. And that is the God honest truth. Like, 
I got a video on my channel talking about postpartum and all of that, but y'all really don't understand how how severe postpartum can be. And I'm probably going to expound on it for real because I don't think I expounded on it in that video that I posted, but y'all, postpartum is real. And I would hate for somebody to think that it's not. I really, I genuinely really would hate that. So, um, so yeah, I'm late as hell for work and I'm getting ready to pull into work. So that is the end of my car chronicles. I hope you all, not gas 254. I love that. But that is the end of my car chronicles. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you turn that bell notification on so you'll be notified every time I drop a new video. And until next time, I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.